okay, Jamie, here's your first at bat in the first game, and you take this first pitch, you're in good shape when your stride foot hits, okay? And what I like is as you take this, you can see that your hands stay in a pretty good spot. We don't leak out. But what we're going to see on our swing is we don't get a lot of separation between our lower half and upper half. And you can see that on the take there. I don't know how much stretch that we're going to get, but I want to show it to you live. So as we go on to the next pitch, okay, so we're loading up. And see, we're really not getting a lot of stretch between our lower half and upper half, right? We can see that we're just getting a lot of arms first there, right? And you end up getting stuck on your back side here. So we're just getting arms first, arms first. And then as you watch your back foot, you see it's sliding up, it's sliding forward, but then it just stops. It doesn't really release. And I think you've got to get that back half through because as I watch your swing here, and again, we're doing a nice job. Our hands aren't coming out, right? I'm seeing that elbow come down first. That's good. We just got to get a little more separation. And you can see the way my glove's moving. The ball's definitely in, right? But our, we got to have our, 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 our hip, we got to clear our hip more by the time that our bat's there. And as you can see, your backside just gets stuck. And the end result is that we're swinging around there. Okay, again, good balance there on the take. I'm just worried. I like the way that we got some back elbow riding there. But even on that take, I don't think we're going to get a lot of separation between our lower half and upper half. And here we go on the last pitch. Good job loading there, Jamie. Good. See, we have the back elbow come down there. Good. Hands aren't leaking. Hands aren't leaking. That's real good. Real good. But again, we got our arms just coming too far ahead. And we get stuck again on our backside. And I think we just got to let that lower half release. As I just roll my finger, you can see how it just kind of gets stuck a little bit. Because as we get to there, we should have our hip through. You can look at the uh, the major league samples and see how they've got their, their hips leading the way more. And the other thing is as we're coming here, those hands should be a lot closer to our shoulder. And you can see how I'm reaching in. As you look at that sample of the Yankees, I think it's Sanchez. You can see how he keeps his top hand right next to his back shoulder. And as our arms get ahead, we just get a little separation there. And again, I think our backside's getting stuck a little bit. Okay, Jamie, this is your first at bat in the last game against the, the slow close machine. And much better. We can see you getting that back elbow to work independent of the hands. That's real good right there. We're doing a better job of turning first, right? I still think we're getting stuck on our backside, though, because you can see from impact to extension how you come up, right? And that's not a ball that we would normally come up on, and your backside just gets stuck. You just let it keep coming through. It's getting close. See how the back elbow works independent of the hands? I think we could get a little bit more stretch, but right there, that's not bad. I think we could get a little more, oops, a little more turn first, but that's a pretty good position to be in right there. And I just think our backside, it just dies. It just doesn't, it just doesn't release. Just let it keep going through because from impact to extension, see how your head's coming up, right? So again, oh, sorry, it's moving. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. See how you're getting your back elbow to ride without your hands moving, right? Now just let, uh, let that hip go. Let that hip go. Let that hip go, right? When our hands, I think, get just a little bit in front. It's not bad, but it's the fact that our backside stops. See how it stops and we come up. Your backside stops and then we come up, right? Let it keep going through, but really good. To right there now just let that hip go let that hip go you've got that early action really good jamie really good now just let our hip go from there and it just stops and we come up just a little bit but that's 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 a lot closer okay jamie here's your second at bat in the last game where we had the machine close and again a good movement there a good movement there Right, we've got our elbow coming down 
independent of our hands. I think we could, our hands could be a little bit closer to our back shoulder, right? I think we're a little bit more than a fist away there, but it's not bad. A little bit of leakage there, a little bit of leakage. But again, we can see that our arms are getting a little bit ahead of our backside and it just stops, right? We want to release our backside, release our backside because we're just coming up and around a little bit. So we're getting the idea of that elbow coming down, keeping our hands back. I think we got a little bit apart that time. I think our top hand could be a little bit closer, right? But let's turn, 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 right? We can see how we got our hands out in front of our hip turn there, right? Pretty good motion there, but we gotta let the backside go. Let it go, let it go, let it go, let it go. And see how it just gets stuck there and that makes us come up and around a little bit. Okay, Jamie, as we see here, the same, same kind of stuff that we've talked about where we just get our backside stuck. And you can see that we're up and around through extension, up and around through extension and our back hip, see our stripe, right? We wanna see that stripe of our pants alongside of home plate, just let it keep going. Now, as we back up, pretty good position there. Good job getting the back elbow to ride. Right, see our back elbow comes down before our hands. Right, that's a pretty good position right there. Now we just need to get more hip turn. Because we start off pretty good. But we can see how our hip just stops, right? Just let it keep going. You can see as I roll my finger, you can really see how that hip just stops. Stops. And if it's stopping early, that means we got to be slowing it down early. So good job there on our stride. Pretty good job there getting our back elbow to work independent of our hands. I'd like to see us have turned a little bit more. Get that lower half going a little bit more there. You're working your top part really good, Jamie. We just got to get this going and let it keep going. Because now we can see how our hands have gotten out in front just a little bit and our back hip just die. Okay, so we're getting down good. We've got that part good, but now we just need to let that hip turn go from there so we don't get stuck and we stay down and get length through extension.